What's up everybody, Durek back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking more about Eternity Sandstorm because for those of you that don't know, the developers dropped a new update on their CTE version of the game that basically adds the brand new map and two new weapons. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. But before we really get into that, I just also want to mention that they actually released a video that actually puts out the date for the console. Now I know I'm pretty late on covering this, but for those that didn't actually see the video, according to the video, it's supposed to be coming out on August 25th. 5th, which is a few months away from now. So the people that were asking for Sandstorm to come to console, you finally get your wish. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to experience Sandstorm for the very first time, and they're going to have a lot of fun, I'm sure. But for the people that are on PC, it's definitely been a roller coaster. So I'm really hoping that the console guys won't have to deal with the stuff that we've been doing with, because as much as I have my issues with Insurgency, I do want them to have a successful console release, because that's actually a big market we're tapping into. My only issue is who exactly they're going to market it to, because it feels as if they're walking away from what made them great. I feel like they're trying to compete with Call of Duty, and at this point, they really just don't have that much of a chance against them. You know, with their TDM and Domination, which is an interesting choice of game mode, but that's just my opinion. But aside from that, I hope their console sales do pretty well, because it's definitely something that they've been striving towards this entire time. But getting back to the update, they ended up dropping like a map and two weapons, but that's not the only thing that they dropped. Yeah, the one thing that actually came as a surprise was the uh, new death screen. It's very reminiscent of the previous battlefields where like once you die the camera like looks up and pans towards the bad guy that killed you except it doesn't actually like point him out it points out the spot where you got shot from like the exact point of where he shot you and killed you but it doesn't give away the player's position by lighting up the player it just shows like the point of where he was standing when you got killed if that makes any sense so I'm not sure how to feel about this because I feel like it's a bit cheating but who knows what are your thoughts on that I think it's an interesting addition but only time will tell if it's good or bad because i can honestly see how a lot of people are going to abuse this by using the death screen as a call out this is going to force players to move from one position to another so yeah this is going to be an interesting addition and i wonder how it's going to play out but yeah let me know what your thoughts are down below all right on to the map finally so the map itself is actually really good looking finally we get a map that isn't a desert map i don't like sand it's coarse rough and irritating and it gets everywhere luckily with this map it doesn't have as much yeah so power plant the new map with the dam has a lot of green on it. You'll see a lot of vegetation crawling on the buildings, trees everywhere, bushes, and it's just, it's just it's just a very colorful map that makes it way more refreshing to look at compared to all the other maps, which every other map at this point is basically generic, like they almost all look the same. It's kind of hard to differentiate, you know, one from the other. But how is the map? Is the map good? Does this map work with the current modes that are in the game? Well, luckily for us, the CTE featured all of the different game modes that are featured currently in the game. That's right, there was push domination and firefight and i gotta say that they really did a good job with balancing the way that the game modes actually are each game mode felt really rock solid on this map maybe just for domination they should probably condense the map a little bit maybe put like some roadblocks to stop them from going off into random locations but aside from that everything's pretty good those are just my thoughts i also brought a couple of subscribers with me just to see what they thought and uh here's what they thought all right so i'm gonna go down the line so grab what are your thoughts on the map so far the map is actually probably one of the better ones that's in the game at least to me but after having so little experience with it i think we're gonna need more time to actually see how it plays i if there's one thing i do think that there's a bit too much of it's that there's way too many alleyways in it so it's gonna i can see a lot of issues where people are gonna be um like right next to each other and just not realize it just completely run past spartan what's up what are your thoughts on the map i haven't played the new map actually that, that was, was the new map. map. That was? Oh, I it actually kind of like it. <laughs> I actually kind of like it. It's actually pretty cool. I like the the vegetation and shit. It's actually, I actually like that kind of style. I don't know what the city broken down and stuff. Uh, Village Idiot, what are your thoughts on the map? I think it's pretty good since it's very traversable and can actually be really fun at times. Yeah, so the general consensus seems to be that the map is actually pretty good, probably better than the current maps that we actually have now. So that's what me and my subscribers' thoughts are on the map. So let's talk a little bit about the guns here. Thanks to the domination mode, I was able to actually look at all the guns and edit them however I wanted to. So yeah, for those of you that didn't know, they only put out two guns and they are the Ace 52 and the Tavar 7. For me, visually, they look pretty cool, but in action, the Ace 52 just felt like 
like I was using a scar and it really didn't feel that much different from that. I believe they were actually using the same sound effect that the scar has. So it's very hard to differentiate the gun from the scar, which begs the question of you even bothering to use it. So it just honestly feels like a cosmetic item rather than a new weapon. But I mean, again, this is in the test version of the game, so it could feel different later on down the line, but we'll see. The Tavar 7, on the other hand, it just, like, even with the vertical grip, felt like it had a lot of recoil. Like, honestly, the best way to use that weapon is just to do burst fire, because doing full auto will just, you'll never hit the target. At least that's just what I think. Let's see what my subscribers had to say. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Ace 52? The Ace is, the both the Ace and the, and the Tar pretty much just feel like uh, the Scar Age to me. Not too much difference. The only thing that's just, you know, different is the, uh, the visuals as far as that goes. Performance wise, they both feel about the same as the Scar. No need for a foregrip or any of that because it's all like strictly vertical and pretty easy to use. I can picture people throwing a, uh, I could picture people running, uh, doing that, uh, what they do with G3s and just throwing a bipod and a 4X on it and just kind of holding down a lane. Okay, what are your thoughts on the Ace 52? Uh, my, my opinion, a little bit too much recoil for both of them but i mean it's all it's all around a fine gun to be honest i mean it's how whatever your play style is i mean just go for it okay uh what are your thoughts on the ace 52 i see no reason to use it it's expensive has too much recoil and there's just better alternatives to it okay what are your thoughts on the yeah, tavar that, 7 that's that also goes for the taver Okay. So yeah, the map is pretty good and the guns are pretty lackluster. And this update is just overall not great. I mean, I definitely enjoyed what was here, but the thing that's lingering in the back of my mind is that's it. Like I literally just blew through that update within two and a half hours of the CTE. Like I don't even have to go to the release if that's it. One map and two guns. That's about as good content as Rainbow Six Siege's one map and two operators. Uh. I mean, I get that they were focusing their efforts on trying to get Sandstorm onto the console, but look at it like this. They are trying to go to a different platform platform without fixing the problems that were on the previous platform who's to say that those problems won't reach the next platform and then the console players are basically going to be in the same position that us pc players are already in sitting here waiting for content boy has the content really been uh trickling in the past couple of months they'd basically be starting from square one except on two different platforms now i'm not trying to say iceberg ahead but it certainly seems that way from my perspective now the release of the game on console is a while away so i mean there could be a lot of updates between now and then so i'm just hoping by the time that you know the console stuff comes in we'll have night maps we'll have mods out we'll have more maps you know updates and even more so after the console releases because if not then i honestly don't know where this game is going because the last couple of updates have either been lackluster or non-existent like i honestly believe that this game should have been delayed to about now because all the stuff that i just talked about like mods night maps new maps and weapons should have been already added to the game to begin with and when all was said and done after they added in all those updates they should have released the game and then let it sit for a little bit and then add the competitive mode on top and then there the game would have been perfect or at least in a better state than it is now but this is where we're at sitting here waiting for content that i feel should have been in the game already I mean, at this point, I'm really just waiting for the mods because I've been seeing a lot of people post pictures of the really cool stuff that's going on behind closed doors, which by the way, I thought that was under NDA, but it's whatever. And yeah, I mean, this update's just all right, I guess. But did you guys actually take the time to download the CTE to try out the new map and new weapons or what? What'd you guys think of it? Did you even try it? I'm not sure if there was anything else. I'd imagine there was a lot of hot fixes, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really got to experience. Unless there was more and I missed it. But yeah, that's pretty much where the video ends. If you're someone that likes the fact that I cover Insurgency, Sandstorm, along with other tactical games, why don't you stick around, you know? Subscribe, ding the bell. Also be sure to comment, share, and like the video so I can get past this algorithm. If you're someone that really wants to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one bye bye okay who has these all right all right just stand there don't look at me uh <laughs> is there a way to okay that'll work on a second all right <clears throat> That looks pretty good. Now, if only I could get the other one. The Ow! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> They're looking at us like, what the f are you doing? <laughs> like, stop around and go get the points. <laughs>